Abscissimab Indication Researchers have studied Abscissimab in three phase clinical trials Epic, Epilogue, and Capture. Abscissimab is no longer manufactured. Abscissimab is currently a prescription only medication only indicated for intravenous use IV. Further study than randomized control trials are necessary to provide more intervention for this drug. The study have shown abscissimab to be effective in the prevention of isthmic cardiac compli uh, complication in patient undergoing prequentness coronary intervention and prevention of ischemic cardiac complication in present with unstable angina ua non st elevation my myocardial infection unresponsive to uh, conventional therapy when scheduled pci within 24 hours abscissimab has only has had research performed in conjunction with aspirin and heparin fda labeled indication myocardial uh, ischemia properly laxis and urgent therapy to pc1 pc1 urgent refractory unstable angina non fda label uses acute myocardial infection cardiogenic shock aneurysm of coronary vessels such as with kawasaki disease acute artery thrombosis myocardial infection mechanism of action abscissimab is the antibiotic fragment of chemical chemic human human marine uh, monoclonal antibody this medication inhibit platelet uh, aggregation by reversible blinding to platelet uh, 2b 3a receptors which in turn result in steric hindrance it prevent the blinding of fibrinogen one will brown factor and other aggregation promotion molecules during clot formation a secondary action that has not been a focus of research is the impact of abscissimab binding onto the mac1 integrin receptor on activated monocrites inhibition in the result in a dose dependent fashion which produce an environment similar to the autosoma receive uh, disease glansaman thrombosthenia which is marked by an inherent decrease in gp2b two way receptors on the surface of the platelet laboratory finding in this condition include an increased bleeding time with no charge change in platelet count pto ptt do not confuse this with the uh, panogesis of one pilbrand disease so renard soluble syndrome these are diseases of platelet adhesion in contrast to glenman thrombosinia which is a disorder of platelet aggregation clopidogrel and uh, triglyver are drugs that decrease platelet aggregation and are useful in prevention ischemic stroke platelet aggregation in a commonly mistaken mechanism for abscissimab abscissimab produce its effect over a short half life of approximately 30 minutes allowing its use short term platelet aggregation inhibitor on the way to the cath lab for pci the free plasma concentration of abscissimab decreases rapidly there is an initial half life of fever than 10 minutes the second phase half life is about 30 minutes its effect on platelet lasts for 48 hours after administration and call is still have effect for up to 15 days after administration administration abscissimab is typically available is as an 
IV solution of 2 mg ml liter Preconesis coronary intervention 0.25 mg kg IV balls administration 10 to 60 minutes before the start of PC1 followed by inflation of 0.125 microcentigram kg meat for 12 hours not to exceed 10 microcentigram per minute unstable angina non st elevation mi unresponsive to conventional medical therapy with planned pc1 within 24 hours 0.25 mg kg iv balls followed by an 18 to 24 hours inflation of 10 microcentigram minute concluding 1 hour after pci and act of 300 second and and a ptt of 70 second should be aimed for while completing PCI dosage does not require modification for patient with renal failure infuse at a maximum rate of 10 microcentigram per minute and do not mix with other drugs aneurysm of coronary vessels Kawasaki disease 0.25 mg kg IV loading dose by bolus followed by an inflation of 0.125 microcentigram kilogram meat for 12 hours standard therapy include IV gamma globulin 2 gram kilogram give 24 to 48 hours before abscismide and aspirin 80 to 100 milligram kilogram per day all subject are heparines and also sublicide on warfarin before hospital discharge adverse effect the most common adverse effect are chest pain, hypotension, injection site pain, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, minor hemorrhage, gross hematuria and backache. Rare but severe side defect including thrombocryptania, anaphylysis, major hemorrhage and non hemorrhagic cerebrovascular accident abscismate administration is not associated with the higher risk of bleeding in those undergoing CABG treatment pregnancy category C risk has not been ruled out infant risk during breastfeeding has not had research proposed to date contraindication all of the following are contraindication for the use of abscismate hypersensitivity to Abscismite book component of the formulation. Recent clinically significant gastrointestinal or genitourinary bleeding or active internal hemorrhage within two years of cerebrovascular accident or with substantial neurological defect, floating abdominal or within seven days of administration of oral anti-coagulant unless prothrombin time is 1.2 time control PT value or lower thrombocytopenia less than uh, 1 leg cells microliter within 6 weeks of major surgery or trauma intracriminal tumor artistro Venous uh, malformation or an aneurysm, severe unco uncontrolled hypertension, history of vasculitis, use of dextran before PTCA or intent to use dextran during PTCA, concomitant use of another parenteral DP2B3A inhibitor, oral anti. Coagulant used within the last 7 days under the PT time of 1.2 times the control or less. Vasculitis cleaning no document diagnosis. Hypertension severe uncontrolled. Theoretical contraindication exit for co-administration with defibrillate and epifibrillate infection many increasing in the risk hemorrhage. Monitoring. The clinician should monitor complete blood count series. Blood counts. 
prothrombin time activated clotin time and signs and symptoms of bleeding cbc look for thrombocryptonemia and anemia due to occult hemorrhage pt aptd monitor the risk of bleeding chest x ray if signs of hemoptysis toxicity there is not a minimum toxicity dose listed it is advisable to begin with the therapeutic dose and the to monitor patient response carefully there is no ns research to verify that efficiency or safety of abzimumab used in pediatric patient approximately uh, 5% of those treated with abzimumab will develop bleeding but due to impatient administration and overdose in highly unlikely there have been several care reports describing gastrointestinal bleeding and thrombocytopenia as adverse effect bleeding at infusion site is the most common adverse effect and would likely worsen at toxic concentration infusion with cox inhibitor so other antiplatelet drug increase the risk of toxicity and adverse effect in the event of toxicity or adverse effect transfer the patient with platelet with severe thrombocytopenia if the patient become hypersensitive deliver a fluid bowels no anti dot excite for reserving abscissimab hemo dialysis may be useful to remove toxic concentration of the drug successfully toxic adverse effect of abscissimab bug quality for admission criteria due to the need for continuous monitoring of hematology stability